Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Diamond Painting with Anxiety, also known as Karen or Miss Karen, known as a lot of things depending on who you're talking to. So this morning we are going to be doing morning coffee with Karen. So first of all, let's talk about the coffee cup I'm going to be using. This coffee cup was given to me about on Mother's Day five years ago. And it was made by my grandson, Wyatt. Let's see. Yeah, there we got a good focus, a little bit of glare. But this is a photo of him. I have a feeling that this was probably originally created for Wyatt to give to my daughter, Sarah, who is actually his aunt. Um, but I have a feeling he made this at school for her and she regifted it because I she knew how much it was going to mean to me. Uh, the Mother's Day that this was given to me was the Mother's Day after we had lost Wyatt's mom, Naomi, my daughter, to a methamphetamine and alcohol overdose after a relapse, after having been clean and sober for a year. And what's special about this cup is right over in here, and I don't know, it's so tiny, I don't know if you can see it, let's see. Right here in pencil, he drew the family. There's, let's see. It's going to be tough to show, but it shows my daughter, Sarah, my son-in-law, James, Wyatt, um, their, his little sister, which I think is right, I think uh, she's right there. Oh, that's pretty good. And then there is Grandma and... Um, his Nana and Papa, which is his Uncle James's parents. And then over here, can you see that? Near the moon, that's his mama. So this cup means a tremendous amount to me. I love to use it. I love to look at it. Um, I asked him the other day what this was over here. He said, oh, that something, had something to do with a video game. I have no idea. Anyway, I think this is... I think this is video game related too. So this coffee cup is really precious to me and I really enjoy using it and it's perfect to use with my morning coffee with Karen. So without further ado, let's pour some coffee. Cheers. Grab yourself a cup of coffee or a refreshing beverage of some type and let's get started. This is a morning coffee, so one of the things that I had, had said that I was going to do was start using the wonderful little um, Traveler's Notebook that um, Shanda Panda had made me, and we were going to start doing some challenges. Um, so uh, it's been a while since I've done a morning coffee, but in my last morning coffee, um, the challenge was to get a notebook and to um, start a list of 25 things you would like to do, have, or be. So I did mine. So week number one, here's my list. It has 25 things on it, so it goes across pa the page. I've got some blank space over here. I may decorate this or write something inspirational. I'm not quite sure, but it's a work in progress. So I thought I'd go ahead and read you my 25 things. So on June 24th, 2019, I wrote, stop smoking. Two is become a certified counselor. Three is finish my degree. Four is to go on a cruise. Five is to buy patio furniture. Six is to have 1,000, or 1,000, Freudian slip. $10,000 in savings in my emergency fund. Seven is to take a trip to Alabama. Eight is to take a trip to see Andrew and Ken. Oh, take Andrew and Kendall to wizard the wizarding world of Harry Potter. Number nine, take a trip home. Ten, buy a drafting table desk. Because, you know, diamond painting. Eleven is pay off my car. Twelve is get my dental work done. Fourteen is to go on a real vacation. 15 is go to Reno with Sissy, my sister. 16 is spend one or more nights in the hotel in Old Town San Diego. That's something I've wanted to do for years. 
17 is to go camping. 18 is to go to a drive-in. There's one here in California. I want to go. 19 is to take Ava on a trip. 20 is to buy a diamond painting portfolio. 21 is to weigh 120 pounds. You guys, being thin is and trying to gain weight is just as much of a struggle as it is to try and lose it, I'm telling you. 22 is to live in my own house or apartment someday. I'm really happy here at the shelter, being the live-in um, resident manager, but, you know, someday I, I will retire. 23 is start a program in Naomi's memory. 24 is to take Olivia on a trip, and 25 is to take boys on a trip, the twin, Olivia's twin brothers. So, because I've taken um, Wyatt and Ella on trips alone with Grandma so far. So that's my list. So what I will be doing is every morning when I get up, I will be reading over my list. Um, with these lists, it can be kind of interesting because depending on what season you are in your life, and I've been doing these lists for, oh gosh, about 13 years. Some years it would have a lot of things really small things like when I first started it one of the things on my list was to have a pair of black shoes and a pair of brown shoes because I was very very poor struggling um and so I didn't have much so and it uh, interestingly enough maybe I'll tell you the story someday it took me a year to save enough to have a pair of black shoes and a pair of brown shoes and I bought them at Goodwill so some some years it'll have really small, really simple things, and it'll be a lot of, you know, um, buy a pair of black shoes and a pair of brown shoes, um, you know, get buy new tires, um, you know, maybe things like that. And what that's uh, in the years and the times when I've made lists that that said things like that, what it indicated was that I was in a season in my life where I needed to kind of acquire some things. If you notice on this list, it has a lot of things like that says become, which that's a do, okay? A become is it something I want to do. Become a certified counselor. Take Andrew and Kendall to Wizarding World. Um, let's see. Take a trip home. Um Let's see. I'll just go ahead and read the ones. Um, stop smoking. Become a certified counselor. Finish my degree. Go on a cruise. Um, take a trip to Alabama. Take Andrew and Kendall to wi the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Take a trip home. Um, go on a real vacation. Go to Reno with Sissy. Spend one or more nights in a hotel in Old Town San Diego. Go camping. Go to a drive-in. Take Ava on a trip. Uh... Weigh 120 pounds. Live in my own house or apartment. Start a program in Naomi's memory. Take Olivia on a trip. Take boys on a trip. So what all those those actions, which they're all do's. This is, remember, this is a 25 list of things I want to do, have, and become. Okay, so with the do's, I'm in a season in my life where I'm wanting to accomplish and experience things. And a lot of those things are experiences. If I had a lot, so those are, uh, I have a lot of do's. If I had a lot of haves, like I was mentioning a few minutes ago, that would, would um, indicate I'm in a season in my life where I need to kind of acquire things to be able to feel like I'm experiencing living a sec successful life. There may be some things I need. I may be in a season of, of needing to acquire things. Um, some of those things are become, become a, become a certified counselor, stop smoking. That's maybe a become, um, get my degree. Those are probably, those are probably, um, things that I want to be. So those are things, those are like major life goals where, um, there's something that I'm really wanting to accomplish. So really the vast majority of my lists are things I want to do. So experiences I want to acquire and things that I want to be. So I've got some, you know, some major life goals, some things I'm wanting to experience um, accomplishing in my life. So these lists can be pretty telling. Um, like I said, I'm going to read this list daily. It will keep my, um, 
you know, some of these things. And as you notice, some of these things are really small. Like I want to get a diamond painting portfolio. Um, that's a pretty small goal right now, but it's something that I can accomplish. Okay. So I started this one exciting thing. I started this list on June 24th and on June 24th, I stopped smoking. Uh, so I have become a non-smoker. So it's hard, you guys. I'm struggling, but I'm doing it. So um, that's it. So at the end of this video, I will be um, giving you the next challenge. I hope you're playing along with me. And if not, hopefully, you know, just something that I say will kind of inspire you or, you know, you can just watch me on my journey. If you'd like to comment, uh, leave a comment down below. And let me know if you got your journal, if you did a 25 things you'd like to do, have, and be list. Um, and then, uh, or anything else. Maybe you want to share one of your things you want to do. Maybe share your top thing, thing that you want to do, have, or be with me. I would love to hear that. I think if I had to choose one, if I had to choose one that's my highest priority, oh gosh, that would be be tough. Maybe we'll do that one of these weeks as a challenge. So I'm not going to challenge myself to that right now because I would need to put some thought into it, but there we go. Okay. So now that we've done that, let's get busy dropping some drills, hopefully on our canvas and not on the floor. Okay. So let's see. Today I am working on my DAC um, Cloud Runner um, painting, which I've had some problems and issues with, I'm not going to talk about it a whole lot right now because before I do that, I do want to contact um, Diamond Art Club and just kind of let them know what my experience has been because um, I believe that they're a company that always strives to be better. I believe that they care about the problems and issues we might have. And also, I want to finish it to see what the end ultimate result, uh, result is going to be with the issues I've been having. And then I probably, when I do my finished video, I'll talk about that. So it's not horrible, but there have been a few little things. But I've had fun working on it. It's really, really pretty. Um, I kind of um, zoomed out quite a bit so that you guys can see as much of it as possible. It's super, super sparkly. Yeah, it's beautiful. So today we're going to work on the, I kept calling it a boat last time, and I think of it as a boat, but it's not a boat, it's a ship. It's actually a, I think of it as a pirate ship. I think it's probably Peter Pan's pirate, or was it Pete? No, whoever. I think it's the, sh the ship that, what was that pirate's name? I don't know. I got to watch my, Watch my fairy tales again. You'd think with all these grandkids I've got, I'd be well-versed. But, you know, I don't know. Sometimers, sometimes I remember and sometimes I don't. So, but let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to work on the ship today. So, I think I am going to start with symbol 23, which is 939. Okay, let me grab those and grab a pen. Hope you've got a whip and you'll be working along with me. And let's go for this. Okay. First drill. First drill down during my my whip and chat. Morning coffee with Karen. Gotta clear my throat. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Think I need a sip of this wonderful coffee in my Wyatt mug. Okay. So... Um, you know, I probably kind of opened up a can of worms just now of some things that you guys might be, you know, maybe some of you didn't know and you might be thinking about. So <clears throat> I'll talk about it a little bit um, this morning and then I don't know, maybe I'll do a whip and chat about this subject and maybe I won't. I don't know. But um, my 27 year old daughter, Naomi did die of a um, methamphetamine and alcohol poisoning <clears throat> five years ago, um, leaving behind her five-year-old, sorry, <clears throat> man, my throat just really got a frog, leaving behind her seven-year-old um, son, Wyatt. Wyatt was living with my daughter, Sarah, and her husband, James, at the time. 
and Naomi had had a long struggle with addiction. Um, when she died, she had been in recovery for a year and was living at home with me. Um, Sarah and James, during the, the very long road of her addiction, um, when Wyatt was five, had, uh, it was a difficult thing, but Sarah and I um, went to the state of California to Child Protective Services, or whatever it is they call it down here, and um, requested that they take Wyatt away from Naomi. And they did, and kind of tried to do the reunification process, but um, that wasn't successful. Her addiction was too severe at, at the time. So they had terminated her rights. And then <clears throat> after four years um, of them having him, they were in the, the process of adopting him. And Naomi had gone into recovery. She was in recovery for a year. And as I said, living at home with me. And then it's a pretty common story, um, which with me working in the... Um, recovery industry I hear way too often where she relapsed one time she left home and uh, ran into some friends started using and it less than 24 hours later she was she was dead um, so I'm pretty pretty pragmatic about that you won't hear me use a lot of euphemisms like she passed away or, you know, things like that. Um, I don't call her an angel because I don't believe she is an angel. Um, I don't, per, you know, this is my personal beliefs, but I don't believe we become, I believe in heaven. I believe in God. I believe in all that, but I don't believe that we get a set of angel wings. I think there's already angels, but I do think that Naomi is in the presence of my heavenly father. Um, I've worked a lot on acceptance um, and it's really hard for me sometimes but um, as a gift of my own recovery yes that's right I am in recovery as well I have been clean and sober for 13 years um, and as a gift of all the hard work that I've had to do on myself to remain clean and sober um, and a lot of the support I've got, um, even though I miss Naomi more than words can even say, there's, there's just, I just cannot describe to you the pain of losing a child, um, regardless of the circumstances. But, you know, I also believe that life goes on. I believe that Naomi would want us to, um, you know, live our lives and, and she would not want us to forgive her or, for, or she would not want us to forgive her. She would want us to forgive her. She wouldn't want us to forget her, especially Naomi. She was very, she was very, gosh, how do, what's the word for it? She just, uh, she needed a lot of attention. So she wouldn't want to be forgotten, but she would also want us to, um, you know, be able to live our lives and, get as much joy from our lives as possible. So as a parent who has experienced something I never should have had to experience, and that was burying my child, um, you know, I still try to, to um, do the best I can to live a, a happy and productive life. Um, it's hard sometimes, but so that's kind of the story with um why he's and i mean that's the um that's that's the gift his little life was not very good prior to us helping the state take him away from her and um he has a wonderful life now um you know he's got he's carrying around his scars believe me um but you know we're making sure that he gets the um the emotional and mental health help that he needs um, on a regular weekly basis. And, um, you know, he's uh, got a family that loves him and, and um, you know, we just, we just go from here. 
So, and as I said, I'm in recovery too, and that's how in I think in the video where I first started talking about doing the the challenges during the morning coffee with Karen, um, I think I mentioned the fact that. Um, you know, I work in a treatment center. Um, I've worked in the treatment industry for, gosh, almost 10 years now. Um, and uh, what I do now is very different than what I did before. When I was in Washington, I was executive director of a um, fa the facilities um, and clean and sober housing program for a very large treatment corporation. Worked a lot of hours, like 90 hours, so a week. So it was, it was, you know, uh, it was killer. Um, I loved the work, though. Um, so, but I retired, um, or thought I was going to retire, moved to California, got the job here at the homeless shelter as a live-in um, resident manager. Um, I think, I, you know, I think I've told a lot of this before, but I don't know. Maybe there's somebody new watching my video. And if you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you're, if you've heard this before, I apologize, but, um, one, so anyway, I'm, I'm digressing. I'm going all around what I want to say here, but one of the things that I have done to kind of, um, support my love of working with people that are in recovery is, um, I became a certified life and recovery coach and what a recovery coach does. A lot of people are familiar with, you know, life coaching, but a recovery coach helps people who are new in recovery or, you know, not necessarily even new. My, my passion is really to, to work with the, the people that are new to the recovery journey. But I, I have worked with people with some, you know, long-term recovery as well. And a life coach, um, a recovery coach does, you know, pretty much what a life coach would do for somebody as far as like, helping people set goals and, you know, accomplish things in their lives, um, overcome obstacles. But if, when you're a recovery coach, you come at that from the recovery and addiction perspective. Um, so it's something that's really um, added a lot to my life, added a lot to my career. And so, yeah, that's where that all comes from. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of background as far as some of these these challenges and stuff that I want to do during these morning coffees, um, I have you know done these a lot of these things. Like I said, for 13 years since I went into recovery, and um, most of these things that I want to share with you, I have um, shared with hundreds and hundreds of people um, in my uh, career in um in addiction um and recovery services so there's some there's some experience that comes behind them and and um it's again it's something i'm really passionate about because some of these little tiny things when we do them and create them as habits they can literally um you know start to change our lives and help us accomplish things and change the way we see ourselves and um, a lot of things like that. So that's kind of why it's important to me. So let's see. I wonder if I'm going to be able to actually read my time. Looks like we've been going for about nine minutes. So let's see what else is going on. So I'm super, super excited. Um, I had been, I'd kind of lost my motivation and my go juice so to speak, for um, working on the very large PATH project. It's 180 by 75 or 75 by 180. I guess that's the way you say that. Um, but the very large piece that I'm working on here at the shelter with the residents, um, For if there's any of you that don't know about that, we work on it usually about once a week for a couple of hours out in the main part of the house. And then I put it away till the following week. But it had been, gosh, at least a month since I had done anything with that. I was kind of just feeling a little bit burnout. I went through a period of time where 
um, none of the residents that are living here currently were just really interested in, in di learning to diamond paint or doing diamond painting. Um, so it was a little, I don't know, maybe I was a little bit discouraged or feel a little selfish or something. I don't know. But anyway, I just hadn't been working on that. Um, I did pull it out on Friday night and one of our newer residents came and joined me and I am so excited because I absolutely converted her to our addiction. Speaking of addictions, yes, I've got an addictive personality and I don't know, maybe she does too because, oh my gosh, she was just, from the second she started putting those drills down, she was just kind of in love. Used all of those. I'm going to grab a different color just for fun. So I'm going to grab 22, which is 823. We'll put some of those in. This, this ship will start to take shape, I think. Start to look like something. Um, so anyway, she just really, really, she was so cute. I, I brought the painting out about 7 o'clock. Um, she actually... Um, had taken her children to visit their father. Um, and uh, so she um, was having so much fun and just, just enjoying putting those drills on that canvas so much that um, she was afraid that I was going to put it away. At one point, she, had, she decided that she needed to go um, pick up the baby, and she says, she says, oh, the baby's crying. He won't stop crying. I've got to go get him, but <clears throat> you'll have this put away by the time I get back. And it was, it was like 10 o'clock. And I, so I told her, I said, that's all right. I said, I normally don't bring it out um, tomorrow. So on Saturdays, the schedule around here is the residents um, between the hours of nine and one. They're usually done by noon though, but between nine and one, or noon, they um, do deep cleaning. So that's when they um, do daily chores and keep the house clean every day. And this house is, is so clean. It's just, it's absolutely amazing with as many people that live here, how clean they keep it. Um, but on Saturdays, that's when they really roll their sleeves up and scrub the place to within an inch of its life um, with some direction from yours truly. So um, you know, they do that. They clean their rooms. Um, I inspect their work, um, point out any things that maybe need a little extra TLC in the house or their rooms or whatever. So that's what we do on Saturdays. Well, her kids, she had gotten up and, uh, taken her, her son back to his dad's, um, because, you know, it's supposed to be dad's time to visit with him. And she came back to do her chores. She was back by nine. And she was, you know, cleaning her kitchen, doing all stuff. And she looked at me and she said, are you going to bring the painting out today? What time are you going to bring it out? And so I just kind of laughed. And I said, yeah. I said, I'm not really busy today. I said, so I can bring it out whenever you're available. What's your schedule? And she said, I, the kids are with their dad. I don't have anything all day. So I said, okay, get your chores done, and around noon, when everybody's finished, I'll bring it out. So I did. I, I brought everything out and set it all up for her, and uh, she spent six hours practically, I mean, she maybe got up once or twice. Um, she spent six hours putting drills on that canvas. She got a lot done. I kind of diamond painted with her off and on. Um, I, when I diamond paint, I get up really, really frequently because it's important for me to move around and things like that um, so I don't stiffen up or experience any negative effects from, you know, leaning over these canvases, especially when I'm out there working on the table because I'm kind of, you know, hunched over, kind of like I'm hunched over right now to do this video. So I got to be sure that I move around and, you know, don't stiffen up and stuff and you know, I had my own stuff to do, so I would just leave her out there, and I would go do what I needed to do, and go back, and she worked on that painting for six hours, and then it was time for her to go pick up the kids, and she said, well, I'm going to go get the kids and take a break, she said, but, you know, um, 
she made some sort of reference to, um, you know, working on the painting throughout the week. And I said, no, I don't normally bring it out during the week. This is something that we do just on the weekends. Now, I had offered several times to set her up with her own canvas. And um, she kept telling me that she just wanted to work on the path project because she wants to help me get it finished, she kept saying. But I don't think she realized that she was not going to have any access to that diamond painting throughout the week. So even though I had offered her, um, you know, to, to set her up with her own diamond painting that she could do, she didn't take, you know, she didn't take me up on that. And, uh, but once I made her realize that the, um, that the path project only, normally only, <clears throat> normally only will come out on Fridays, then all of a sudden she wanted her own project. So she chose one, um, then she had to go get the kids, and I've got that all set up for her, and I will give that to her um, sometime today. So I have a convert, and it's it's kind of fun because it sort of, um, you know, made me get a little more motivated to work on that because it's so good for, for our residents and so good for me, too. Um, so I'm, I need another color. I used all of those. So I'm going to work on number seven, which is 312. 312 is such a pretty blue. I just love this color. So, so yeah, that was kind of my fun from yesterday. Um, let's see what else is going on. I have had a pretty, pretty good week. Um, didn't have a whole lot of meetings or extra work or anything like that. So um, was really able to get a lot of stuff done that I wanted to do and get a lot of diamond painting. This, um, even though I've had some issues and struggles with this painting, um, be, you know, probably because it's around. And also I'm getting a lot better with using my multi-placer with round drills. Um, this has gone pretty quick. I've been working on, this is the second week. And um, I've really only got a little bit more to do. I've got a little bit up in the corner here that you can't really see. Let's see, maybe I can... Uh, no, I'm not going to be able to bring it up far enough for you to see it. But there's a little little square section up there, a little small one, maybe, maybe about that big. Um, I've got this boat section to do, and then the, um, the boat section, the reflection of the boat, the ship, the ship up there. Um, I'm kind of funny. I saved these boat sections, these ship sections. Oh my God. My gosh. I guess I should just give up and call it a boat. Um, but I saved these sections to work on the ship for when I was with you. Um, because I thought that they're just fun and, you know, they're, I don't know, a little less color blocking. So I'm, I'm weird. I save stuff for you guys. Okay, it looks like I need to start a new clip. So I'm going to do that. Hang tight. You won't even know I'm gone. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. My throat is still a little froggy. I don't know what's up with me today, but we'll just deal with it. So while I was up, I made a fresh cup of coffee. So let's work on this painting some more. What are you guys working on? You can put that in the comments too. Tell me what you're working on. So <clears throat> I thought I would kind of update you guys on some things that are um, should be coming up <clears throat> in the next week or so. Um, obviously, I think probably this this DAC Diamond Art Club Cloud Runner piece will be finished probably I would like to finish it today but I'm not sure that'll happen maybe by tomorrow night so I will be doing one of my um, lucky draw lucky dip um, random diamond paintings um, pulling out a paint my next painting to work on I really like doing those I like it, I'm, I'm all excited to just see what I'm going to get to work on next. I like doing those videos for you guys. 
Um, I've had some comments that people enjoy them, so let me know if that's that's something you enjoy watching. I get really excited. I feel like, I mean, just the surprise of I've got all these wonderful paintings that, you know, I want to do, but it gets so hard for me to decide that doing those drawings is, is just, you know, and pulling out something to work on is just so much fun. So I should be, you should be seeing a video for that. Um, of course, once I get this piece finished um, and have had a chance to um, share some of my thoughts with Diamond Art Club, um, I'll do a fit. Well, it, it'll be before it's finished because I've saved a very special part, in my opinion, on this painting to do my um, finish and final thoughts. So. I'll do all of the, the painting except for that section and contact Diamond Art Club and then um, I'm going to do a video for that. So that should be really fun. Let's see, what else have I been thinking about doing? Um, oh, I definitely will be doing today, um, This I will make this happen, I'm going to do an update on the path project that the residents and I are working on, especially because we made so much progress on it yesterday. I, I think that's encouraging too. I mean, you know, that painting is huge. Almost 300,000 drills will go on it. So having made some really good project with the residents' help yesterday um, kind of has me encouraged. So I haven't done any kind of update. Um, if you If you don't know, I do have a real small Facebook page, which um, I haven't done much with. Um, so once I get that video up, I will put it there first. Um, and um, then I'll also share that video, of course, you know, here on YouTube. And and um, I'll put that video up probably on um, Diamond Painting Underground and Ella's page and Donnie's page and, um, you know, some of the Donnie um, contacted me when I first started posting the updates and she said you didn't you put it on you put it on um, Ella's page and on uh, the uh, diamond uh, painting underground but you didn't post it on mine are you mad at me of course I'm not mad at you Donnie so I will definitely be um, putting that up on Donnie's Facebook page um, but if you would like, you can come join our Facebook group. Um, I hope to get a little bit better about, you know, doing some things on there and being a little more active. Hopefully we can get that page to grow a little bit. That would be fun. But um, if you'd like to come join us, you can at the Di it's, uh, Facebook Diamond Painting Path Project. And you'll see updates on what the residents are working on, um, the our pr uh, progress on the path project. Um, and, you know, some fun stuff over there. So that should be coming up this week. Um, hopefully, hopefully by like tomorrow. We'll see. So I want to do that. Um, I have been very, um, very, um, disorganized when it comes to responding to my comments on my videos. Um, I think... Lately, I've just been in, I, I think with the, uh, with quitting smoking, um, it takes a lot of my mental and emotional energy to just not smoke. I smoked for 30 years, so, you know, that's a really powerful addiction that, that develops, you know, over that amount of time. And I've just been in a space where, um... I've had to focus second by second, moment by moment on not lighting up. So um, it's caused me to spend more time uh, working on this diamond painting and um, just kind of, I don't know, I, I almost get real still. Um, it's just, it's weird. It's weird. It's it's just really been um, not smoking. Ironically, takes up a lot of my time. I'm getting more done because rather than light up, if I'm I'm feeling like I want to light up, I'll you know get up and do something or you know stay busy. So 
I'm getting a tremendous amount done, but it's not the usual kind of stuff I do. So I don't know. It's just, it's just kind of a weird season in my life, but I do believe that will pass. And with some areas that I've kind of neglected, like responding to all your wonderful comments, um, I feel like maybe I'm, I'm about to get myself back on track. So we can be hopeful with that. So I apologize for not responding. I do read all of your comments. Um, I've just not had a lot of emotional or mental energy to be able to do much more than, um, you know, go to work, uh, get my stuff done that I need to do there, come home, um, and not smoke. I don't know, you guys, it's strange. I don't know if any of you have ever quit smoking, kind of experienced the same sort of thing, but, um, it's been very weird. Something I'm very glad I did, but, um, yeah, it's just one of those times. So you'll have to, have to forgive me or not. You can be upset. I wouldn't blame you. So now I'm going to do, uh, do a few K's, um, which is 11, 334. Ooh, that's a pretty blue. It's like a real dusty, um, blue. Yeah, I love that color. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, so what else have I got planned? Um... I think that's quite a bit. I think that's a lot. I don't know. Let's see. If I can get that done, that would be the finish video for this. That would be the Lucky Draw Random Diamond Painting. Oh, there weren't very many Ks. I thought there were more than that. Oh, there's one. Let's see. Okay. Let's do some... Oh, there's a few more down there. I always find them all over the place. It's like... Like searching, hunting and pecking when you're typing. That's kind of what this reminds me of. I don't know. There's got to be a term. Um, maybe we'll do some sevens. Okay, so I digress. If I do the finished video, that's one. The random draw would be two. The update on the path project would be three. Um... That's three videos. I really want to do about three or four videos a week. Um, that's kind of my goal. I think now I will do the sevens, which the sevens are 31. Uh, where's 31? Which is 3760. 3760. Looks like I have a few sevens to work on. So yeah, three or four videos a week is my goal. Oh, I know what else I, I should do this week. I've got some embeggings to do of some paintings that I received. These are things that I ordered for myself. So um, I probably should do the embeggings. So that would be four videos. I suppose it would be nice to do one a day, do five, um, have a couple of days off. But um, I don't know. We'll get there. We'll get there. I sure am enjoying, um, hang on, had to reach. Um, I sure am enjoying, you know, doing this, this channel and kind of stretching myself out of my comfort zone and doing something new. I'm learning a lot. That's another thing I want to start focusing on. Um, gone off my meds, uh, Wendy Dane from gone off my meds. Check out her page. You guys, she's amazing. If you're not, if you're not aware of all the cool stuff she does, um, be sure to go check her out. Um, she's got some wonderful videos for um, YouTube creators that she put together. Um, I need to start watching some of those. Um, I found some other YouTube channels that um, have been helpful. So I think I probably should, you know, do some research and educate myself so that um, I can learn a little bit more because that's a big part of of what this channel is about for me like I always say it's to stretch myself out of my comfort zone do something I never would have thought that I would be capable of doing 
and, you know, just hang out with you guys and have some fun along the way. Oh, that's one thing I wanted to talk about. I'm kind of disappointed in a way. I know that the dp is coming up, and I was so excited. My plan was I was going back and forth about whether or not I was going to work on the PATH project, or I was going to another thing that I'm... i got to reach again, sorry. Um, another thing that I was real... Um, excited about uh, maybe getting done during the um, DP-a-thon was getting my spare drills um, put together. Um, so I thought that maybe I would do that. But um, I have something much more important to do, so I'm not probably not going to be able to participate in um, very much of the DP-a-thon. My granddaughter is going to be in a musical um, theater production of The Lion King. And um, their uh, production will be, um, gosh, how do, what do you even say? I don't know. Anyway, the, um, the event will be the weekend of the DP-a-thon. They're doing it over three days. And my daughter and I talked yesterday, and actually the day that I'm going to go and not only watch her um, in this production, but also volunteer. Um, Sarah and I are going to do candy grams for the uh, for the kids uh, behind stage. So that will be super, super fun. Sarah and I will be doing that. And um, so I'll be there all day during the dp -a So I won't be able to participate. Maybe someone will, um, you know, do a... Um, a post or whatever or a, a um, gosh what would that be called a playlist and um, I'll be able to you know watch at least some of those um, later on that week but I'm just really disappointed that I don't get to play along but hey being grandma is important and grandma shows up that's what grandma does grandma shows up that's why grandma's in California so it should be really fun, um, but I won't be able to hang out with you guys. So I think I'm going to stop um, working on this at this point and kind of start to wrap this video up. But because this is a morning coffee with Karen and because we're going to be working on our journals and our challenges, I have a new challenge for myself and for you. So this is something that, again, I've done not constantly, but pretty frequently over the last 13 years. And it's a two-part process. Um, so I set my my um, traveler's notebook up. Right now it's written in pencil, so it's gonna be something, it's gonna be real hard for you to, to see. But I wanted to do pencil because I may do some fun colors and you know get a little creative with this. But I made two pages, it's almost the end of the month. And what I'm going to do is every morning I'm going to get this, this little journal and I'm going to read my list of things I want to do, have, and be. And then I'm going to write a gratitude list. So over here I've put all the, uh, I've numbered all for all the um, days that are left in July. It says July gratitude um, at the top. And every day I will write down one thing, large or small, that I'm grateful for. Then the second part of this project or process, which is one of my favorite things in the world to do, is called a something wonderful list. So um, really early in my recovery and in my um, growth journey, I learned a concept to say to myself every morning, uh, as, as soon as I open my eyes, there are two things, it really, before I even open my eyes, while I'm still laying in bed there, I have trained myself to say two things to myself. And the first one is, um, I can't, God can, I think I'll let him. The second thing I say to myself, usually before my eyes are even open and before my feet hit the floor, is something wonderful is going to happen today. I wonder what it is. And so over here, um, for each day, um, I do. I have a tendency to do this all in the morning, so it'll be for the day before. But I will write something wonderful, and sometimes that might be something really big, 
And sometimes it might be something really small, like I saw a beautiful flower out in the yard or um, one of the, uh, something wonderful that's happened already today is uh, the one-year-old, one of the one-year-olds that lives here in the house um, ran across the, the yard following me um, trying to go into to Miss Karen's side yard because she loves me and she wanted to say hi. So that was my something wonderful. So every day I'll write something I'm grateful for and something wonderful. And I'll, every morning I'll continue to say to myself, I can't, God can, I think I'll let him. And something wonderful is going to happen today. I wonder what it is. So um, if you'd like to join me and do that um, challenge with me, that would be awesome. And if you just want to watch me go on this journey and and um, not participate, that's okay too. So that's going to be pretty much it for this video. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank you for your support. And have a wonderful week. Go out and find your something wonderful every day because it's going to happen. I promise you. And I will see you really soon. Bye.